In this video, we are going to take a look at using interfaces. This is going to allow us to share common functionality between different game objects, as well as to communicate between actors without needing to use casting or have a reference to another actor. We're going to jump in and first we'll kind of talk about what an interface is and then try to implement an example. So they give a pretty good description in the uh, documentation here, but uh, I think a simple way to, to think of interfaces is as a container to hold functionality that you'd like to give to actors or objects or different classes. So on one hand, you have child classes that inherit methods from their base classes. Um, and then on the other hand, you have interfaces. The way they differ is that interfaces, they're allowing unrelated types to implement the same behavior. So let's go ahead and create an interface here. Um, we're going to call it interactable. All right, so Visual Studio finished generating our class for us. Um, I'm not sure why the Visual Studio integration tool uses or creates a character class by default, even though I selected empty class. Um, that would be something they need to fix, I suppose, but We'll just uh, retrofit this to, to fit what we're wanting to, to do here. So first thing I noticed here is, well, we don't need to include character. We're just gonna remove that. Let's just go ahead and delete all of this here. Don't need that. And then we're gonna actually change this to be U interactable interface. And we're going to inherit from U interface. What we have here is, if, if you're not familiar with Unreal Engine macros or the reflection system, we're telling it that we don't need to include all the functionality for this class. And then the blue principle is telling telling us that, or telling Unreal Engine that um, this class can be accessed or created as a blueprint um, in the engine. This, this up here is really for the reflection system for Unreal Engine. But one other thing we need to remove is this. Um, so this is essentially a DLL export. It's telling Unreal Engine that um, that this module can be exported and accessed externally, um, but we don't need to do that for this interface. So we're just going to delete it. All right. So one other piece we need to add. We're going to add our actual actual class here. And then we're going to add one, just one function for us to be able to show how this interface is going to work. Um, so we're going to use u function. And we'll make this blueprint callable is going to expose this function to, to our blueprints. And then we will also use blueprint native event. Um, so when you're creating interfaces and other classes, um, like we said, blueprint callable is allowing this function to be accessed in blueprints, um, blueprint native event. So there's blueprint native event and blueprint implementable. Um, the native event is telling Unreal that this, this function can be implemented either in C++ or in blueprints. So if you use just blueprint imp implementable, that's you cannot implement it in C++, only in your blueprints. Do that. And then we're, let's just call this function interact. Okay, we have our very simple interface implemented here or created. But let's actually, let's, let's create a class that is going to implement this interface. Let's use the actor base class. Let's call it interactable actor. This will be our, our base interactable actor class. All right, so let's open up our header file and take a look. First of all, since we want, we're going to need to include our interface. Let's go to interfaces and then interactable interface. All right. And then now we can add our interface that we want to implement. I'm also going to make this blueprintable. 
Okay, so how do we how do we actually implement our interface in C++? Um, if you take a look at the documentation here, it gives a, an example on, on what you need to do. When you're implementing a function using the blueprint native event, you use the name of the function with underscore implementation. So it'll look something like this here. Interact implementation. And override. Okay, so I missed something here. This needs to be a new interface. So let's just generate the definition here. And we'll just do a simple implementation. We'll print the screen just to kind of show this interface in action. Message. Let's just do blue for our message color, and we'll just say interactive. All right, that's going to be our, our very simple implementation. So let's launch our project and take a look now. For the sake of simplicity, I'm just going to implement this in Blueprint to show the functionality. But you do have the option, obviously, to to you know add that in in your code as well. So we're going to open up our our player character here. Here you can make another design choice. How do you want to interact with, with objects or sense act, objects that can be interacted with? So option A is, you know, you can use a volume to track actors that come in range and go out of range. Um, so whenever an actor um, overlaps with that volume, um, you trigger an event. Um, and then on the other side, the other alternative is you, you use line tracing or sphere tracing to uh, you know, look at wherever the camera is looking to trace for objects that can be interacted with. We're going to do this with the volume in this example here. So let's just add a collision sphere. Let's just give us a little bit bigger sensing range. And then we'll implement the on component begin overlap. Okay, so what do we do here? Let's try our interface method. There's an implement does implement interface function. And let's search for our interactable interface. And there it is. Okay, let's add a branch node. And then what we're going to do is on this actor, we'll just call that interact function that we implemented. Bit. There we go. Okay, so whenever we overlap with an actor, we're going to check if it implements this interface. If it does, then we'll call the interact message. And then this allows us to A, you know, not have to know exactly what what class this is. It, we just know that it's it's a an actor, so it derives from this actor. And that's all the information we need. Let's create a blueprint here that derives from our, our base interactable actor class. Okay. So let's just call this uh, blue box because we're going to use the, the box from the example level. Let's add a let's add a static mesh here. And let's do our blue cube. If you go to class settings, um, it shows that it inherits this interface. We're not going to do anything here. That's all you need to do at this point. Let's go to the level now and let's drag in an instance of this. Let's hit play and let's, and there you go. So now you see the our event is triggered and you see our interactive message up there. So you could go in here and we could override this. Let's say we want to do a different message. Let's just say 
toolbox. And now you see the, the message has changed because we overrode that uh, interact function again. So that's pretty much the gist of it. So what did we do? We designed an interface that is creating this interact function. So now we have the ability to um, communicate with other actors in the level as long as they implement this interface. So now we can we can add doors, we can add treasure chests, we can add item pickups to our level, and we don't need to know what their base class is. All we need to know is that they implement this interface. If they do, that means they implement this interact function. So we're going to stop there. Perhaps in a, in a second video, we'll actually do the implementation in C++ code for the the interactable actor and the line tracing to have our player character find objects in the level that it can interact with. But yeah, thanks for watching.